Spencer Music here, assistant content editor at Furniture Today with uh, Mikhail Stahovsky. He is the co-founder and chief visualization officer at NTRO. Did I get that right? Yeah, perfect. Um, and he's here to talk to us about customer-owned material and a new solution that NTRO is offering to the industry. So thank you so much for your time. Um, customer-owned material is something that we hear um, upholstery manufacturers, particularly at the um, higher end, uh, talk about all the time is something that they get to deal with, have to deal with. Um, so what is your solution and how can you help um, them uh, solve that issue? Um, very good question. So uh, we've been at the uh, higher end of furniture industry uh, visualization for quite a while now and uh, COM was probably one of the first things that everybody told us about and we've been working together with designers and, and retailers for quite a while to understand what the process really is and where are the pain points. And I think our solution solves the bulk of the visual problem of, uh, of COM without actually approaching this from a technology angle, which was very important because not all designers, not all retailers are ready to really study new software or invest in new software. So, so that was the angle we, uh, we started from and uh, we finally got to a solution that we think that we can actually revolutionize this part of the market. Uh, what pain points are you working to address with this tool, specifically that communication between the manufacturer and the designer? Um, how are you trying to grease those wheels and make that process easier? So there's two major pain points. One is time. So anytime you have something truly custom, when it's not a, only a custom frame that you can configure with configurators like ours, but also a custom fabric that might lie, lie in different um, positions and the flow matching might be different, it's extremely hard to talk between the factory and a designer to make sure they get the product they want. And you know, assuming this is a high margin, high cost product, you really want to do a great job to get the repeat business. So we make sure that the order accuracy is correct by providing visuals. So you will see where the cer cer uh, center point is, how the flow match is, you know, what the fabric looks like on each item, each panel even. Uh, and then we will cut the time of you conversing, you know, with the designer, you as a manufacturer. So those are the two two main pain points between the manufacturer and uh, the designer that we address. Let's talk about ease of use because that's one thing that I hear about when I'm talking with um, these manufacturers that these tools are great, but they've got to be easy to use. So what steps did your team take um, to ensure that ease of use for the customer? So uh, that was actually probably the most difficult part. Uh, the technology, we already had it with our configurators, things like that. But, but the problem is how do you make make it useful so your average designer from the group that's not very tech savvy can actually use it really quickly. So we decided that we will start from the frame itself. Um, you know, we work with companies like Krabbit, for example, which has multiple tens of thousands of uh, fabrics, still 30% of their business is COM. But by having, you know, a simple icon on the website that says COM that opens up a window that just say, drag your fabric here, you can snap it with your phone, or you can go to a website, you know, screenshot it, then allows for an extremely simple process of adjusting this, cropping, showing uh, what the repeat is, and then the rest is done by the algorithm. So in that essence, if you can just basically use a mouse and what designers are great with, have a good eye about you know, where to position your uh, cropping tools, you're done. The rest is basically auto-completed by us, uh, working with the manufacturer on setting up some, some of the uh, strategies. So I think the most important part was to make sure we actually remove the 3D from the whole process. We are really working in a 2D aspect which is so easy for everybody to understand. And then we are the 3D people to drape it and, and, and match that. So that was the main challenge, is how to make this, you know, basically two-step process on every single item. If you had to pick one thing that differentiates your tool from others, maybe like it in the market, what would that be? So first of all, you know, as far as I know, at least, the COM that we have is the first uh, solution out there so I don't think we have much competition on this end uh, but I think what really makes us different is the platform approach so for example with COM if you're a non tech savvy designer you can drape it really quickly if you're a tech savvy designer you can still use our configurator and the COM module to create a unique item 
but then you can download a 3D object, draped and ready to go, and use it in your 3D software of choice. Uh, that saves you a lot of time and sometimes modeling cost, which is not insignificant. So, um, so that's a definitely big, um, big uh, difference. And also, you can use this with WebAR or any other, you know, Vision Pro, for example, solution that we we just uh, announced with Kravit. But any part of our um, platform is compatible with COM. And I think that's the most important part and what makes us a little bit different is that we want to serve as many endpoints as possible. It's not about a single use solution. It's about the whole ecosystem. Well, Macau, thank you so much for your time and uh, be sure to stay tuned uh, for further coverage of High Point Market here with Furniture Today and the rest of our sister publications.